All right, here I am on the abandoned railroad crossing on Baker Street in Lansing, Michigan. Now, this is the third abandoned railroad crossing that I decided to review on the Jackson and Lansing Railroad, formerly owned by Conrail and Grand Trunk Western, you know, and this, which is a short line that used to be connected to the active line, but now has been abandoned, like, probably for well over 10 to 15 years. And uh, this, these railroad crossings, you can probably tell by the video title and also by the style of them, that these are rather special because uh, these are some, I'd say relatively rare Griswold style cantilevers. Yes, these are cantilevers made by, you know, the Griswold, the old famous Griswold, you know, signal company. But yeah, this is what we have here on the Jackson Lansing Railroad. This is obviously, I think, I don't think this is as rare as the wigwag and the other two signals that I reviewed, but this is still pretty rare and still a good sight to see. So yeah, we obviously, you know, I just had to tour it. So to start off, we obviously have the Griswold Signal Co. Minneapolis cantilever with the junction box attached to her. And here's the emergency information, the dot tag, and the dot number is 536371T. And there's another uh, dot tag right here by Jen Jackson and Lansing Railroad Company. Just printing it with the same dot number. And the lights on this crossing are two pairs of Safetran 8 inch lights and two and one pair of Griswold 8 inch lights. Type C's. Yeah, they're Type C 8 inch lights. As you can see, Safetran logo. And the overhead lights is, are, is one safe train 8 inch light and one and a half pairs of Griswold Type C 8 inch lights. It's pretty neat. And the bell is a Griswold mechanical bell, as you can see. And very sight, this very neat sight to see, even though this line's abandoned, but these are still in pretty good shape, I had to say. Yeah. So I guess we could go ahead and move on to the next signal, which is over there somewhat similar to the first. All right, so before we go on to the next signal, I wanted to review this real quick, which is like a little post signal that points to the driveway of that restaurant over there. And all this has is just one pair of Safe Train 8 inch lights, uh, nothing else. Well, I don't think anything else. Yeah, it has the Safe Train junction box and everything. It has that dock tag. I'd say it's pretty neat, but now we could just go ahead and walk over here and check out this second Griswold style cantilever or Gris, genuine Griswold cantilever, I'd like to say. So, yeah. So this signal, it's also similar to the first. It has, you know, another Griswold Signal Co. cantilever. Here's the emergency information in the dot tag again. There appears that there's no older dot tag on this. So the mass lights are one and a half pairs of Safe Train 8-inch lights and one and a half pairs of Griswold Type C 8-inch lights. Oh, I think there's a train going on down there. Might have to you know, drive down there and check it out. And then the overhead lights are two more pairs of Griswold Type C 8-inch lights. And the, and the bell is another Griswold mechanical bell. Man, someone should preserve these. Honestly, they someone should really preserve these. These are, these are awesome. <laughs> so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the track view. Down there is heading towards, you know, more abandoned railroad crossings and eventually meets up with the uh, active line and ends. And then down there is heading towards the end of the tracks. Yeah, that's where they finally cut them off and decide to end them there. Here's the relay case, which might be a Griswold, either that or a safe train re relay case of some sort. Um, nope, it's a Rayco relay case, like a Rayco branded relay case. So yeah, this, these are the Griswold style cantilever rare, abandoned railroad crossings, sadly, on Baker Street in Lansing, Michigan. Over and out.